joke. Why so serious? You are terror incarnate. Terror incarnate. The ruler of chaos and death. Yeah. And remember, you have to get your poses right, too. Ah. Everyone around you are disgusting, worthless little insects. We are the lords of chaos. Destroyer of worlds. People were groaning in the theater when that happened. I mean, I want to go up and punch a hole in the screen. Why do they do that in the movie? If there's anything that annoys an audience, it's, I hate that stunt, it's old, it's cheap, it's a lousy gimmick, and I wish they would stop doing it. Ooh, guys just want to have fun. Ooh, guys just want to have fun. Oh, hello. So, you just watched The Lords of Chaos, the film, where they have a fat Jewish actor play the role of me. And I just, the one thing I took from Varg, I was watching him in prison, he has this kind of strut, you know, he has this weird kind of strut that he does in this weird kind of way of sitting. And that, that was what I got most from the videos, you know. I'm Scandinavian, by the way. Uh, I didn't criticize this as much as a lot of other people did. I just thought it was like a book, and I, I read the Bathory part, and I thought there was a lot of things that was wrong, and I was like, whatever. I just like it just it's, it was it stayed on my shelf, and it's it's kind of still there. I read the Bathory part, and I thought there was a lot of things that was wrong, and I was like, whatever. I just like it just it's, it was it stayed on my shelf, and it's it's kind of still there. film Lords of Chaos by director Jonas Ackerland uh, covers those crimes as well as that scene incredibly well with insane detail because the director himself was part of a neighboring country that was also part of a black metal scene. He was in a band called Bathory. face paint. Where did they get the face paint? At a Halloween shop. So they're so it's clown makeup. So they're kind of like little clowns. Oh, okay. They're not so scary. Like, I... Well, I was really into into it. I was a big fan of a lot of the bands involved. So to find a role that is so perfectly tied to the sort of history of metal is kind of rare and amazing. Seeing the, the Vice documentaries and then Until the Light Takes Us, that sort of led me to discover the bands, and then there's so much stuff online about it, and um, so I was already pretty into into it. And then reading the script, it was like uh, it just fit perfectly into the stuff I already knew about it, and provided like a really um, great role for an actor. My question's for Jonas. Does the movie actually feature any original songs by Mayhem or Burzum, or is it an entirely different soundtrack? No, it has um, um, 11? 11 Mayhem songs in the film. Um, and a few of them are original recordings. But right. I don't know if you've seen the movie, but in the beginning of the movie, they're kind of like rehearsing and they're not playing that well. So we had to re-record them to sound a little bad, you know, like they're learning their instruments. We had to re-record a few for uh, to make it sound live. Uh, and then eventually they became better and better and some of them are ori original recordings. We don't have any birds of music in the film. Um, there's no room for it really, so we don't have any of that. Right.
few things to say about that. Let's find out. So, the fat Jewish actor said things in that film that I never said. <laughs> Just wanna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <but I> <laughs>